Good evening. I see you. Well, good evening. I'm Joanne O'Brien. Many of you have no idea who I am, but I'm a practitioner at the North Hollywood Church of Religious Science. And I am delighted to be here to share this today service that we have had at our church for close to nine years now. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about it in a moment, but let's join in song. We're going to start with I Am a Light in the World by Michael, Reverend Michael Gott, who I'm sure, Dr. Reverend Michael Gott, you all know. And so as we, as we join in song, I invite you to come up and light a candle if you haven't done so already. And then set an intention for yourself and for the world as we join in song. And um, we'll just keep singing, and when we're done, you'll know.
Well, good evening, <clears throat> and thank you so much for all being here. I am delighted, as I said, to be able to be a part of this Wednesday night. I'm so grateful to Reverend Laurie. We've known each other for so long, and, uh, and so thank you for having me here. So let me tell you about what we're going to do. So today's service is a service, some of you may be familiar, some of you may not, where we combine meditation, inspirational readings, and chanting. And the purpose of the chanting is to create a communal energy and a vibration in song. So if this is um, something where you're uncomfortable singing, we invite you to just let that go. Um, if you're someone who would like to harmonize, we'd love to hear you harmonize. Uh, this is the first time Julie and I are working together, and we're having a great time um, coming up with some wonderful harmonies. Um, if you would like to just sit and just take it in and just listen, uh, that is fine as well. Now, some of the songs you won't know, but you'll get to know them because we're going to sing them over and over and over again. So you have your lyrics on your little one sheet there. And just so you know, I chose not to put it up there. And the reason for that is because when we have something to look at, we tend to keep reading and not get into the music. So I thought, well, let's just... Let's just try to do it where we learn the music, learn the, the song and trust, and then just feel it. So we're going to meditate as well, and I'll have a couple inspired readings. And uh, the meditation I focus on is um, called the Pasana meditation. Now, some of you may be familiar with it, some of you may not. You might all be pros, but for the um, intention of just starting at the beginning, what we do in this kind of meditation is we focus on the breath, okay? So we'll, we'll take you in and be quiet, and you'll focus on the breath. And what you're going to notice are thoughts. You'll notice distractions. You'll notice feelings. You'll notice sounds. And the whole point is to just notice them. Have no judgment on the sound or the thought or the fact that you're thinking, or am I doing it right what, is anyone watching me? Are they noticing that I'm not doing right? Why is that person breathing so loud? Why is that? All that stuff is what we notice. So we get to let go of our judgments. And that's what our readings are going to be a little bit about today. Kind of some basic stuff about just being and just centering ourselves. And we'll bring you back to the breath. So we'll sing a bunch. We'll meditate. And then um, the, the, we'll bring you out of meditation through music, okay? So, um, so that's what we're going to do, and I hope that you enjoy the service because it is so special to me and, and, and so sacred to me. So I am delighted to invite Reverend Laurie up to give us an invocation and to lead us in our first meditation, and then we'll start singing as well. So I invite you to put your hand over your heart and to close your eyes. And just have the awareness of the energy around your heart. Breathe it into that heart space. Breathe it in and breathe it out. And just being grateful for something so warm and joyful in your life. And just continue with that feeling of gratitude for I am grateful for Joanne O'Brien and the gifts that she has given this evening, coming all the way here from North Hollywood. I'm grateful to recognize there is an infinite expression of light that is universal. It's always to seeking to express itself through itself as, as itself. And just knowing that I am the light of God, I am the light of love, of joy, of wholeness and harmony. And as I know this is my divine truth, I know this is the, the divine truth for each and every individual who is here this evening. For each person is that loving light of God. And for what I know this evening unfolds with divine ease, with grace. It is a soulful, warm evening. Everyone being connected, connected to their heart space in community as we sing together and we meditate together. As one, I invite you to move into the silence and to just focus on your breath.
Focus on your breath. Focusing on your breath. Focus on the breath.
So the first reading I have today is from one of my favorites, Pema Chodron. And it's from a book called Comfortable with Uncertainty. And she says, start where you are. This is very important. All meditation practice is not about later. When you get it all together and you're this person you really respect, you may be the most violent person in the world. That's a fine place to start. That's a very rich place to start. Juicy, smelly. You might be the most depressed person in the world, the most addicted person in the world, the most jealous person in the world. You might think that there are no others in the planet who hate themselves as much as you do. All of that is a good place to start. Just where you are, that's the place to start. What you do for yourself, any gesture of kindness, any gesture of gentleness, any gesture of honesty and clear seeing toward yourself will affect how you experience your world. In fact, it will transform how you experience your world. What you do for yourself, you're doing for others. And what you do for others, you're doing for yourself. And so I just invite us all to take a moment and turn within. And we'll be quiet for two to four minutes. And just focus on the breath. And just start where you are. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out.
Spirit, what would you have me do in this moment in the quiet I Take another moment and settle into the quiet and surrender. Surrender to our thoughts, surrender to our judgments, surrender to the truth of who we are, divine expressions of love.
So the next reading I have for you this evening, I know it says it's from Marianne's blog, but I changed my mind at the last minute because I'm allowed to do that. We all are. And so this reading is from a book called The Untethered Soul. Anyone familiar with The Untethered Soul? Oh, good. Like-minded people. By Michael Singer. It is one of my favorite books, and I listen to him in the car all the time. So, Michael Singer has to say, you will come to see that the mind talks all the time because you gave it a job to do. You use it as a protection mechanism, a form of defense. Ultimately, it makes you feel more secure. As long as that's what you want, you will be forced to constantly use your mind to buffer yourself from life instead of living it. The world is unfolding and really has little to do with you or your thoughts. It was here long before you came 
and will be here long before you leave. In the name of attempting to hold the world together, you are really just trying to hold yourself together. True personal growth is about transcending the part of you that is not okay and needs protection. This is done by constantly remembering that you are the one inside that notices the voice talking. That is the way out. The one inside who is aware that you are always talking to yourself about yourself is always silent. It is a doorway to the depths of your being. To be aware that you are watching the voice talk is to be on the threshold of a fantastic inner journey. If used properly, the same mental voice that has been a source of worry, distraction, and general neurosis can become the launching ground for true spiritual awakening. Come to know the one who watches the voice, and you will come to know one of the great mysteries of creation. Let us now turn within and simply notice, again, notice without judgment, the talking voice. And then gently bring ourselves back to the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Now I invite you to keep your eyes closed if you like during this musical prayer. It's 
Beautiful, huh? It's just beautiful to come together in this spiritual practice of chanting, meditating, and sacred reading. I'm just so grateful for Joanne Bryan to be here. So let's stay in that spiritual practice of giving and receiving. I invite the ushers to come forward as we open ourselves up to the receptivity of life, recognizing that your gifts um, support Seaside Center for Spiritual Living as we grow and expand as a community of love. So I invite you to take your gift and place it over your heart. And together we say, freely I give, freely I receive. I'm immersed in the universal flow, knowing my gift does good work in the world and returns to me multiplied abundantly. And so it is. And as they're collecting your gifts, I would like to just let you know what's going to be going on for the next two months because Reverend Debbie McDonald has left. You know, she is the spiritual leader of the Monterey Centers for Spiritual Living. So next Wednesday, Dr. Reverend Kathy Hearn will be here speaking, and that will definitely be a treat. And then on the second Wednesday of the month, I will be back. On the third Wednesday of the month will be Reverend Bobby Becker. And then on the fourth Wednesday of the month, it is dark. 
uh, we don't have service on the fourth Wednesday of the month in December. And come January, you'll see more of me around here on Wednesday evenings. Don't forget, Christine Stevens has her Drumming in the Light on uh, December 18th. And you are also invited for Christmas dinner here at Seaside Centers for Spiritual Living. And it is a pot, potluck dinner, so uh, bring your friends and family if you like. Also, Dr. Uh, Christine Tillotson, she has a burning bowl ceremony on New Year's Eve, but it's early enough for you to enjoy the New Year's between 7 and 8.30. And in January, I'll be facilitating a class called It's Never Too Late to Begin Again. This is a sequel to The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. So if you are in a crossroads in your life, please join me on uh, January 10th. Oh, I don't think I put the other. Okay, and then also, also the Dances of Universal Peace are coming back in January. Uh, Jim Chow and Lim Chow will be... Um, They'll be facilitating the dances on, I believe, the 15th. So, and I see a lot of the dance community here, and it's so good to see you. So thank you for coming. After the service, I invite you to the family room. We'll be having cookies and tea, and you can talk to Joanne. She also will have a, a CD out there. And at this time, we're just going to go back into our meditation as our beautiful pianist, Julie Albright, is going to uh, give her gifts to us. So I invite you to close your eyes and to go within.
Thank you, Julie. That was absolutely beautiful. Little Sade. So I'm going to do a little benediction, and then we'll sing again, and then we'll go out and uh, say hello to one another. I hope you enjoyed this evening. I so enjoyed being here. Um, I do have CDs, and that Michael Gott song is on my CD. And also, if any of you are on Facebook, starting tomorrow for 31 days, I am doing uh, one live song a day. So I'm doing Facebook Live, one song a day, because I just feel like I want to bring something positive to social media, because we all know that right now it's a little scary. Um, and people are being scary to each other, and I just want to bring joy and share my gift. So tomorrow we're going to start, and I don't even know how it will unfold because I have to find 31 people to do this with me, <laughs> but it's going to happen. So join me on Facebook. It'll be tomorrow at 1 o'clock will be my first one, and it'll be fun and three minutes out of the day to kind of uplift people's spirits and, um, and just keep things happy and positive. So on that note, thank you. Reverend Laurie, for inviting me here. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Julie, for sharing your gift. Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you. Thank you for live streaming, for anyone who's out there in live streaming land, and you're all hopefully looking me up on Facebook right now. Um, so grateful for all of you to be here and for community because this is where we come. We come here to sharpen our tools. We come here to get lifted. We come here to lift. We come here just to be together and be around our like-minded family. So thank you for letting me be part of your family. And, um, and let's just now turn within. So we just take this moment once again. Just turning within and feeling that presence of love, that presence of the divine right here in this very room. I know that there is a power, that there is a presence, there is a force that works through each and every single one of us here tonight and each and every single one of us all over the planet. I know that as we have come here together to be fulfilled, that each and every one of us who are divine expressions of the one mind, all of us, have experienced what it is we need to have experienced this evening. What we needed to have revealed to us is done so in grace and love. What we've needed to let go of has begun to drift away, to fall away. I simply know that this service has shifted each and every single one of us, that we are different. We are vibrating on a, on a new level, on a higher level, and that vibration we take with us, and that vibration affects everyone we come in contact with, every soul we meet, every smile we encounter. We are all lights for one another, and this evening service is proof of that. I simply give thanks for all paths to God, all paths that we acknowledge, Mosques, temples, ashrams, churches, synagogues, mountains, beaches, corners, streets, malls, wherever it is we gather in the name of spirit, in the name of love. I simply give thanks. I give thanks for us as a community. I give thanks for this teaching. And I simply release my word into the law knowing it's done. And on the unseen side of life, all unfolds perfectly as it was, as it is right here and right now, and as it ever shall be. And so it is, and together we all say, Amen. So let's all stand and sing a little Karen Drucker. I think everyone knows I send my love. Because we're going to have cookies. I send my love over the mountains. I send my love over the sea. I send my love into the heavens. And it returns to me. Joy, I send my joy over the
the mountains. I send my joy over the sea. I send my joy to the mountains. And it returns to me. Peace, I send my love east over the mountains. I send my peace over the sea. I send my peace into the heavens. And it returns to me. Faith, I send my faith over the mountains. I send my faith over the sea. I send my faith into the heavens. And it returns to me. One more love. I send my love over the mountains. I send my love over the sea. I send my love. Namaste.